Hello and thanks for tuning in. If you do tune in on a YouTube vlog, you're clicking in, I don't know, what's the modern interpretation? Anyway, um, welcome to Conwy Castle. Uh, and as you can already tell, it's quite dark. <laughs> so um, it's been cloudy all day and I was going to go into the mountains or down to the coast, but it's just one of those days where it wasn't raining or anything, but just thick cloud. So I was just thinking through what could I come and do? What could I, uh, what could I take images of? And um, Conway Castle came up as a uh, kind of a, a location for me to come and uh, uh, kind of capture some images. So uh, I previously, as you probably know, um, if you've seen it, if you've watched, uh, I'll put the link in up there somewhere. Uh, I went to Carnarvon Castle, which is further down the coast, um, to make a film, but they didn't turn the lights on. <laughs> so I was quite pleased. I've been here, got here about seven, so about an hour before sunset, and uh, they've turned the lights on. And I've got some really good memories of Conway Castle. There was a train going past uh, for when I was a kid. We used to stay um, in a caravan park just over the other side uh, of Conway. So i uh, got some really good memories. Lovely, lovely harbour. It's a lovely town. If you've never been, you get a chance, come and visit. Oh, and the moon's just come out. Um, so what I'm doing at the moment, um, got this bridge here uh, over the River Conway, as you can imagine looking towards the castle and I'm using the bridge as uh, as kind of a leading line so castles over here on my rule of thirds so I'll, I'll brighten up and show you castles over here on my rule of thirds got the bridge a leading line and there's a nice little bit of kind of the harbour which kind of sweeps around and a bit of, of the hill uh, I'm just knocked back a little bit from uh, uh 17 mil so maybe about 18 mil i guess and um i focused on the castle and one of the nice things to do i'm just going to turn the live view off to save my battery one of the nice things is it's quite it can be quite hard to focus at, at night time so you kind of you're looking through and kind of trying to get your focus it's always good to use live view to check your focus so i focus on the castle and then i can just um zoom in and check my focus and check it, it, you know is it in is it in focus and it, it is in focus it's spot on in focus um so i know everything's in focus i'm on f11 um giving me a bit of depth of field with the um uh with the bridge and the, and the castle um but f11 at the moment is saying just about 15 seconds well i don't want 15 seconds because i think that's far too too long uh, because what the camera's trying to do uh, it, you know, the camera doesn't know it's night time, so the, tra the camera's trying to get me a, a nice, kind of, kind of well-balanced image. Um, but what I want is the sky to be quite dark um, and the castle to be illuminated. So it's, it's suggesting 15 seconds, but I'm thinking they're going to drop down to about five. Um, and I actually want some cars coming this way and some cars coming that way because I can just about see the cars so I'll get some like light trails. So I'm just waiting. Uh, I've already taken a couple of images, but I'm just waiting for cars to go in both directions, take some images and then go and kind of try a, a couple of different places. And um, I haven't got my shutter release in, so I'm using um, the two second timer. So uh, when, I, when I do take a shot, I'll press the shutter, rele shutter two seconds uh, and then the image will take. So it's all about timing. So I'm just looking to see if this car's coming. But quite enjoying it. Gulls always reminded me of Conway. <laughs> I hope you can see me. Uh, it feels a bit ridiculous trying to make a vlog in the dark, but uh, so I took, I was, I was about 100 yards further down um, on the bridge uh, and I've come along the road a little bit, get closer to the castle. And what I'm trying to do uh, is get a shot that includes the road and the, the walkway um, with cars going past heading in that direction and I'll this is a good example um, I'm trying to get the driving lights um, heading in front of the castle um, I have tried a couple with cars coming towards me as well the challenge now uh, nowadays is loads of people have got those kind of xenon headlights and they're too bright the, the white light is too bright coming towards me um, so I think what I need to do is get a car before it comes round I'm going to take another one now, just as that one goes past. 
get a card just as it, before it comes round so I don't get the full uh, effect of the headlight as the shutter opens. So if I took it now, the shutter would open while the headlight is, is right on, if that makes sense. I'll try, I'll try and show I, I, I mistimed that. So hopefully what I can get, if, if the shutter opens as the headlight is facing right into the camera, you tend to get a, a, a big blast of light uh, and rather than kind of the streaks of light that I'm looking for. So I'm trying to time it so I, I, it's quite hard to see from here because I'm trying to see cars just before they come around the corner. But I'm going to persevere. I think the, the ones with the brake lights going in that direction, oh sorry, the driving lights going in that direction are working quite well. Um, but uh, it's, it's getting the timing right. Um, and a bus just went past and the bus was great because it's got loads of lights on the back so you get lots of streak. Um, with a long shutter speed. What shutter speed does this give me? About two and a half seconds. I might go up to about three seconds. Um, so long streak, but oh, I missed it again. <laughs> so I'm too busy talking to you. Um, but try and go, try and out, try and out, try and out. Let's see how that goes. No, I've missed it again. So I'm trying to get it before the cars come around. I'll show you what happens if I can show it on the back of the camera. You end up with big blasts of light like that. So, got to keep going and then I'll, I'll, I'll move somewhere else and uh, see what else I can come up with. <laughs> might feel a bit odd to talk about uh, having the lens hood on in, in the night because obviously a lens hood is there to cut down uh, on flare from the sun. But, things you have to be careful for when you're doing this sort of photography is there's a massive light there. Um, kind of, you know, there's, there's street lights and you know, there's a light there, although I'm not shooting in that direction at the moment. So, when I was round on the bridge, there weren't any lights above me, and I made sure I wasn't right directly under street light. Um, but it's quite hard to avoid here, so I put the lens hood on, just because that light might cause a bit of flare across the front of the lens. Um, and there's a roundabout here in front of the uh, in front of the castle. So what I'm trying to do is I'm hoping a car will come down the road over there round the roundabout this way in front of me so I'll get the lights coming and round the roundabout but I've just got to wait for, for it to happen um, and it's quite a kind of <laughs> wide angle so oh here comes one see how that goes um, well I'm hoping that that works let's see are they coming this way oh they are coming this way so they're coming around the roundabout the right way one's gone the opposite way so let's see how that worked not bad actually, you can see the lights coming right round. Um, yeah, I might persevere with that. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a street um, sign over there, it's got a light on which is a little bit distracting. And there's another car coming up, but, oh, there's another one coming. Oh, no, he's going the other way. <laughs> I don't want them to go that way, I want them to come this way to, to oh, sorry about that. Uh, I want them to come this way towards me. So maybe this one will do it, but uh, no, next one. So anyway, I'm going to keep going at that. And I'm, I'm on F11, focused on the, the castle. It's given me, what's it giving me? Eight second exposure. Um, so just waiting that for the car to come. <laughs> so I think that's probably about it. Um, although having said that, <laughs> what I'm hoping for is a bus to come um, because they might not seem the most photogenic, but if you're photographing car light trails at, of, of an evening, nighttime, buses are brilliant because they're so well lit up. Uh, and if you get the timing right, you get a lovely trail of lights high and low and, and all that type of stuff. So, um, but I tried, I tried over there, and as I suspect that that light is a real problem. So I took a couple over there, but that kind of, oh, it's a car with quite bright lights coming now. So I'm going to take one more. Um, uh, and then that'll be that. So uh, a couple of things to kind of just refresh on um, when doing kind of photography at night, uh, buildings at night. <laughs> Make sure the lights come on, one. Uh, got to work really hard at your focus. So, you know, use live view to zoom in and, and check your focus. Don't be afraid to play around with different apertures and, and different shutter lengths and get trails and, and things like that. And um, I, I guess the final thing is, be careful about things that are poking into the screen. So when I process this, I'll probably find that I've got a couple of images with 
um, you know, kind of the roundabout sign being a distraction, which I might have to clone out or whatever. So just, just be careful about those sort of things. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. I, I love Conway. Uh, in fact, when I was driving here, it's only about, it takes me about an hour to get here from home. Um, when I was driving here, I thinking, I quite like to live in Conway. <laughs> so um, hope you enjoyed the trip and uh, I'll see you next time.